furlough and I just get so excited when I see people doing amazing things. Look how many people are on like in that audience. Kia ora and welcome. My name's Zoe Stevie and I'm a vocal coach with over 18 years experience in teaching people like yourself how to sing. In today's analysis, we're gonna be taking a look at Pink with her daughter Willow performing a What About Us live. I cannot wait to see what they're both up to with their vocal technique. Let's get to the video. Your songwriter and global pop icon, Pink. Firstly, has she only won three Grammys? Like this woman has the most amazing career. Her music's fantastic and it touches a lot of lives and it just goes to show that awards are not everything, people. <gasps> that looks so beautiful. Look at Willow, she's so grown up. We have searchlights we can see in the dark. Okay, so we're on the G3, which is the G below middle C. This might be quite low for some people, but it's not a problem. We're in a thicker vocal for quality, chest voice register. Da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. So you can see the microphone's very close to the mouth. It's telling us what? Low volume. Low volume is also needed really when we're talking about this chest voice quality, but we'll go into more detail in the next break, I'm sure. Let's watch that again. Searchlights we can see in the dark. We are rockets pointed up at the stars. We are billions of beautiful hearts. We sold us down the isn't that beautiful that you hear three really distinct, slightly different chest voice qualities? So we have this fabulous singer here on the left, and she has got this almost like little bit of breathing, and you sold us down the river too far. The vocal folds are just opening slightly at the back to allow more air through. When we're singing with an increase in air, though, we want to pull the volume back, which is, I mean, she's like the, obviously the most professional of professionals background singers and what we heard there with Willow isn't that cool that we heard a slightly brighter timbre to her mum that mainly comes down to age okay so Willow is a lot smaller so therefore she's got a smaller larynx and women actually go through between two to three voice changes in our lives really great sound a little bit higher in timbre down the river too far what about us Times you said you had the answer. What about us? What about all the broken, happy ever afters? Oh, what about us? What about all the plans that ended in disaster? What about? Willow and I just get so excited when I see people doing amazing things. Look how many people are on like in that audience and she is standing there and singing to all of them. I just wanted to, I have to come closer. I just wanted to let you know that that is not a normal voice um, because she is obviously born, you know, she was born into pink touring. She's been around music her entire life. You know, she's inherited her ability as well from her mother. Um, but I have to say that her performance is a really normal performance from a kid of her age, standing there, quite nervous and sometimes the way that nerves come across when we're singing and I know this is how I used to be when I was singing on stage was we just go absolutely still 
and we're just trying to keep it together. She's got a really, you can't hear any wiggle in her voice or anything like that. I don't know how nervous she is, but you know, you see that she's not really emoting and things like that. And that is totally normal for her age. Honestly, I, the, all of these, these singers that you see on BGT and AGT and all that sort of stuff, those are extraordinarily well-trained or, or very extroverted singers that you're singing. Those are not the norm. This is a really normal performance of someone her age. And I just love it that Pink is, is standing there next to her daughter and, and allowing her actually to perform with her and taking her on this journey. What a great way to learn besides such an amazing role model like Pink. What about us? What about all the broken happy ever afters? Oh, what about us? What about all the plans that ended in disaster? What about love? What about trust? What about us? So when we've got this, what about? You can hear that increase in the twang coming through there. I'm sorry if I'm getting like a little bit distracted, but I have to say we've got some we've got some building work going on here at the house, and they're standing like directly in front of my office window, trying not to look in right now. So this is a bit odd. So what we've got there? Well, what about all the plans that ended in disaster? We've got that increase in twang there coming and you can see that Pink's taking the microphone away. She, we can hear as well, the sound is getting louder. This is going into more of the belt range. What about trust? What about us? We are problems that want to be solved. We are children. To be loved We were willing We came when you called But man you fooled us Enough is enough oh, What about us? What about all the times you said you had the answer? chills I just felt you can see like it's all coming up on my arm that's so cool and I just have so I just have so much love I as I said I don't know Willow from a fucking bar of soap but I just have so much love for her right now because I can only imagine how she's feeling. You heard when she sang her line there, you heard a little bit of a, of a wiggle in her voice. Look, guys, that's just nerves. But what we want to learn is rather than like fighting our nerves, going, no, I will not be nervous, I will not be nervous, and trying to beat ourselves into submission, is we wanna allow those nerves to come to us. And then we learn ways in which we're trying, you know, we, we calm our nervous system down. So that comes through slow breathing, that comes in with, you know, with a couple of other things that I do go into more detail about with my Vocal Academy because there are honestly a lot of different ways that we can manage our nervous system. One of them is actually Laxvox, which is where you sing into a tube. I'll put a link down in the description below for my Laxvox exercise. What about us? What about all the times you said you had the answer? What about us? So when we saw heard Pink go, ha, 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 you can hear she does this, ha, ha, ha. Let's just have another quick look at that. Oh. Okay, actually she didn't do, oh. You saw that she did the, uh, the glottal onset. It's really gonna help you to get, oh. Yeah, okay.
high, it's the B. So it's not particularly high actually when it comes to this chest voice quality or even like leaning towards the belt. But I mean, Pink, is, she's a really highly skilled singer and this is right in her wheelhouse. So I don't necessarily think she's in a belting range or in her belting voice quality, I should say. I think it's definitely within her chest voice sound. She's lifted up her chin. That can just sometimes help to kind of arrest the tilt so that we're not tilting the larynx forward to make it sort of to flip the sound up into more of a head voice. What about all the times you said you had the answer? What about us? What about all the broken happy ever afters? Hey, what about us? What about all the plans that ended in disaster? Hey, what about love? What about trust? What about I'm so sorry, I'm so fucking blind. How did I not see that there were three background singers? And now actually on reflection, as I'm listening to that, I'm really not too sure if it wasn't Willow's sound that was kind of like skewing that harmony there. But in the grand scheme of things, people, who the fuck? cares it's one moment in time it's one song what a beautiful performance what a great sound and i just i was talking about exactly this on my instagram today is like we're so eager to go and and focus on the negative and say like those that those two lines were wrong but what about the 110 lines or i don't know how long the song is what about all the other notes that were actually correct actually my exercise for you would be i want you to write down with your singing and if you don't sing and you just love music and you're working towards something else i want you to write down whatever you're working on right now be that singing fitness cooking whatever i want you to keep a diary and i actually do wait a second I do exactly this. I do exactly. I have this. This is my diary, right? And I want you to write down. I don't like go, dear diary. Today was a shitty day. No, I write down three things that went well, three things that didn't go so well, and three things that I'm going to work on for next time. And being really, really specific about those three things that did well, you can write five things for all I care, but you can actually write them down in the comments if you like, if you would like to share them with us. Uh, I'd love to hear what they are so that I can help you as well if you've got any questions. Sticks and stones, they may break these bones, but then are you ready? Are you ready? I don't want control. I want to let go. You just see that Pink just puts her hand on her back just as a, you know, as encouragement and things like that. What a stressful situation as well for such a young performer. Wow, I absolutely love this. And I'm saying to you people, this is like a normal, this is a normal child. She had a not normal childhood growing up on the road with her mum, but this is a freaking normal child. And I love that. And that's what I try and keep on telling everybody. And I almost always say that it's the people that have to work for it who end up being more successful than the ones who are actually born with it. But you can fight with me down in the comments if you want. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. Because I teach so many singers every single week and I've been doing this for such a long time. I promise you that there is hope for so many more people and you can learn to sing if you want to. I feel really passionate about that. Okay, she's up on the D5. Now, I mean... It's not really anything to write home about when we're talking about a, a, a singer of uh, Pink's kind of level. But you did see that raise in the chin. She did a, what about us? We've got this, what really helps us to get onto the note. The what is going to create back pressure, helping us to close our vocal folds. So what about us? What about all the broken happy ever after?
So we go, what about us? She was flipping from that chest voice down into the falsetto. That's actually like a beautiful ending to this song because, you know, I love to let the voice go where it really wants to go. And I know that that flip is what a lot of people want to try and train out of their voices, which is what we work quite a lot at um, in the beginning. And then when you can kind of get it out, then we work on bringing it back in again. So what we had there when we when she did the, the little bit of a growl, she went down. Let's just watch that again. Okay, now I think I know what's happened. I think Willow's flipped up. All the times it ended in disaster. I think she's flipped up into more of a head voice or a breathier head voice quality. This is totally normal with young female singers. They don't have a lot of flexibility in their lung capacity. That's why I don't work on... Um, breathing whatsoever with young singers because they just simply cannot control it. They don't have the musculature that's needed around the outside of the ribs. It's not mature enough to talk about it. So we don't even go there with young singers. I don't even touch on breathing. It's a very normal sound for someone of her age. And I find that really encouraging for you. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button. Honestly, it really does help me. I teach singing full time Monday to Friday. And it really does help me to carve out more of my working day to help more singers like yourself with their vocal technique. But if you want to learn how to sing and you're interested in having singing lessons with me, then check out the link in the description below because I'm currently only accepting students into my vocal academy. It is a place where you can find trainings plans so you know exactly what to sing, when to sing it in order to hit your vocal goals, as well as on-demand singing lessons and live bi-weekly masterclasses with me. I'd love Love to see you in there. Check out some more pink up here if you're interested and have an awesome rest of your day. Happy singing. Kakitiano.